They got us off the rainbow. So pretty in the sky, yeah. I own some of the business. When people is going by, and I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Yes, I think to my soul. What a wonderful world. Yeah, baby, baby. So my name is Alex Kazanov from Israel and we are in Israel right now and we're climbing in a beautiful place called Gita, the north of the country. I would describe Israel as diverse. It's, it's just so vast, it's everything. There's a beautiful city of Tel Aviv with the beach and parties and this life and there's small villages of mountains and there's Jews, Arabs, religious people, not religious people, I mean just everything and, 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 and good food and I don't know, it's, it's just there's a lot to see and a lot to do and I feel like I'm never bored when I'm in Israel. It's just there's always something. Hello mate! Hello. Good morning! Good morning! Morning from beautiful Tel Aviv. Yeah, ready to go climbing? Oh, bad skin. Yeah, yeah, let's go. <laughs> There's a gym called Monkeys, and we mostly train there as, as a national team right now. But uh, there is a national sports center just in front of the city just a bit outside and the state is going to build us a wall there like a bouldering wall it's going to be for the national team and only for the national team and we're very excited about it i feel like it's going to be a good step for israeli climbing and for the future athletes alex what are we doing buying a uh, hummus for the way all right we have hummus <laughs> let's go how important is, is hummus uh, descending? I mean, for sure when you're in the middle, you know, of your climbing day and you're tired, you get some hummus, hummus power, send everything. It's a secret. All right, we're parking our car here. We are in uh, Gita, which is like one of the most famous Israeli crags. And it's where hardcore programming started in Israel. It used to be a rock climber, but now I'm a plastic junkie, so I wear a small bag, uh, a robe bag from Ikea and, and the sneakers to the crack. I changed the style, you know, I'm an influencer and I'm changing the comic style to a more urban thing. Israel is mostly limestone and most of the cracks are limestone, so we have quite overhanging cliffs. Uh, farther north, they're more overhanging um, not the tallest, we don't have like 60 meter pitches, but we have definitely 20, 30 meter and really high quality rock. And if we go down south to Timna, in Timna we have sandstone. So pretty much like Wadi Ram in Jordan, we have big sand pillars and big like bouldering area of sandstone. Just 10, 15 minutes drive from the Red Sea. And so it's a beautiful place for another vacation. This is my friend Nathan, where he's in one of the gyms in Israel. He came from the US and uh, he's kind of a local tourist. Yeah, and he's our pillar for the day. And uh, we bought some hummus in Abu Adam, fermented vegetables. We eat only with the pita. So we put the deep in the pita in the hummus and we swipe it kind of for, I don't know, we call it lenagev, which is like the pita like in a second. Scoop it. It's a different texture. It's like cream. Yeah. Not really. I'm just gonna warm up on a 7A called Super Fuel. And it's for sure the first route to open in this overhang. And I'm pretty sure it's one of the first 7As in the country. Then I worked on the upper part, which is an 8A, the extension. So I did the first part quite a few times to actually climb the extension.
think in the future we have even more climbers, so we need to develop more cliffs. And our association actually is doing a lot of work to open new cliffs and new areas, even though they are not, you know, cutting edge, best and hardest routes in the world. But we have a lot of small cliffs, community cliffs, you know, easy routes up to 60, 7A, uh, and people can come and enjoy and weekends, and it just spreads a bit the crowd. Yeah, I just uh, kept on going for the day. Yeah, super pumped. It's so fun. So fun to touch the rock again. And, oh, those roots are nice. They're just like, not long, not too long, not too short, like perfect. The plan is to climb a route called Jekyll and Hyde, 6E in the guidebook, <laughs> in the Israeli guidebook. Uh, it actually says it's 80 plus, but, but the story is like this. It's the first A day I climbed when I was 14. And um, I worked quite a lot and, and I wasn't close until I found by accident like an, an extra hole, an extra jug, and I climbed it. And I was like, oh, it was my first A day, I climbed my first A day, I'm 14 and so on, it's super cool. And these days just considered 7C plus because it's just so much easier with the jug I found. But for me, it will always remain uh, in the fir my first day day. Yeah, we're done with this day. Climbed some classics here in guitar and I repeated, you know, my first day day from uh, many years ago. So it was exciting and now we're ready to head back to Tel Aviv, about an hour, an hour and a half drive and uh, get some food. In my opinion, conflict is complex and there is never one side that is wrong or right. It's always both ways are not agreeing or something. And this conflict is so complex, so it's so hard to figure out. And for people who are criticizing, I want to say that look at us as people, as climbers, and just look at us not as a political situation. And I have friends in the climbing community, you know, from Iran and, and from, from people who live in Palestine and people, you know, all over the world. And they are climbers and I am climber. And I hope the world one day could be as the climbing community just friends and, and doing amazing things together. Mm -hmm.